<laughs> yeah, I like that eye contact while that's going on. Peer into your soul. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you don't need that iPhone. Oh, watch out there. Yeah, landmines. Hey guys. Do the cattle kind of get to know you? Uh, yeah. There, but like, there are cows that are uh, have a much more uh, suspicious disposition than others. Cows in general, or these cows? Uh, no, just uh, individuals. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, you get cows that are uh, somewhere in their DNA have a memory of being hunted down and eaten <laughs> by some somebody, <laughs> and others who are like nutty. This is nutty coming up here. She's she'll just come up and get right in your face. <laughs> you can go in if you want. Oh wow, really? Yeah. Thanks. The flies really bother them? Uh, there are no biting flies. So, it's the biting flies like uh, horse flies and deer flies. These, these little flies are just a nuisance. Ah. But from time to time, they'll get like biting flies. Mm -hmm. So they graze out here, and then you herd them back to a barn? Yeah. Right, which okay. is attached to the cheese house on uh, the other side. On the other side, okay. Yeah. And uh, the way we think about it is that we're sending the girls out to harvest the patch of grass and bring it back to the barn. So, uh. you know, uh, we've just really started mapping and tracking uh, production to, like, specific paddocks. Um, because the, the actual uh, mix of grasses and the fertility of soil and the soil types, like this, this area right here, it's pretty different actually than just over to the edge where there's a lot less soil hmm. and a pretty different mix of grass. So, that, and that you know, has impacts on, on uh, milk quality. Mm -hmm. uh, but also on like reproduction mm. and you know, other like just metabolic mm -hmm. uh, stuff. So yeah. this is like a rabbit hole, right? You can just keep keep going. Yeah.